Kaplan kids, Kamusta. Are you ready to let your imagination fly high into the Cebuana sky? And let your wonder go under the depths of Cebuana Sea? Aside from the mysterious tale of Maria and Isla, another version of the story is told in Bohol. A long time ago, in the island of Mantato, there lived a young girl named Peregrina, who was also affectionately known as Perian. Kani abdo, sa isla sa Mantato, ana ay batan ong babay nga nganlag Peregrina, nga giangaan o Perian. Her mother died when she was young, and she was left under the care of her father, Nong Binoy, who loved her so dearly. Namatay iyang mama ni Agtong Bata pa siya, o gibilin siya ilang sa pag-atiman sa iyang papa, si Nong Binoy, kung kinsa gimahal siya pag-ayo. Peregrina was also well-loved by the townsfolk, because of her adorable and charming personality. Pinanga usab si Peregrina sa mga katagi lungsod tungod sa iyang paraygong kinaiya. Despite her closeness to her father, she was often separated from him because he traveled to faraway lands. Apan bisan sa iyang kasuod sa iyang papa, Kanunay si Periang mabuwag sa iyang papa tungod kay mulakaw kini ngadto sa lagyong tapi. Her father considered marrying again so Peregrina would not feel alone whenever he is away. Maunga iyang papa, may konsiderar nga magminyo o usap aron dili mag-inusara si Peregrina kung anaa siya sa layo. He told her about this one evening after supper. Iyang giingnan iyang anak bahin sa iyang plano usaka gabi sa panihapon. At first, Peregrina was confused and she even asked him many questions. But once her father told her that she would have a loving stepmother and possibly step-siblings, she became delighted and excited by the idea of having their company. Paguna, naglibog si Peregrina o iyang dipangutana iyang papa pag-ayo. Apan pag-ingon sa iyang papa nga maanaan na siya'y mahigugmaong ikaduhang mama o posibleng mga igsuon na lipay o naghinam-hinam siya sa hunahuna nga anaan na siya'y makaupan. After many months, her father remarried Anzat, and her two daughters, Pukai and Kikai, became part of the family. But Peregrina soon realized that it was not the family she had hoped and imagined. Pipilakabuan ang nanglabay. Nagminyo og usap iyang papa kang Anzat. Ug ang iyang duha ka anak nga babayi nga silang pukay ug kikay nahimong kabahin sa ilang pamilya. Apa na amgo ni Peregrina nga ang iyang bag-ong pamilya dili mao ang iyang gilao o gihunahuna. Anzat was mean and uncaring to her and her stepsisters were just as unkind bullying and maltreating her because they were jealous of her beauty and her personality that seemed to charm the townsfolk. Maldita o walay pagpangga si Anzat kang periyang. O gang iyang mga bagong igsuong babay, mausab o kanunay magdaog-dao o mulait kaniya. Kay nangasina sila sa kaanya ug maayong kinaiya ni Periang nga nakadani sa mga tagalungsod. The situation at home 
left Peregrina disappointed and sad, and that she would often sit and walk by the seashore to cry and get some peace and quiet. Ang kahintang sa balay na kapasubo pag-ayon ni Peregrina. Maong kanunay siya mulingkod o mulakaw sa may baybayon aron muhilak o mangitag kalinaw sa kahino. One day, she was crying by the seashore when she heard someone calling out her name. Usaka adlaw, samtang naghilak siya sa may baybayon Nakadungog siya pingo nga nanampit sa iyang ngalan. Peregrina! Peregrina! A mysterious voice called out. Peregrina! Peregrina! Ana ay kay bulungang pingo nga nanawag. She looked into the shallow side of the water and was surprised to see a giant fish calling out her name. Mitanaw siya sa mabaw nga bahin sa tubig ug nakurat sa iyang pagkakita sa usa ka dakong isda nga nanawag sa iyang ngalan. My friends and I at the Fish Kingdom have been worried about you. We know of your difficult situation and we would like to help you, the fish said. Ako ug ang akong mga higala sa gingharian sa mga isda, naguul ka nimo. Kahibaw mi sa kalisod nimong kahimpang, o ganahan mi ng mutabang ka nimo. The fishes might have witnessed how sad she had been since she often sat and cried by the seashore. Ang mga isda nakasaksi sa iyang kasubok, kagasiki man siya lingkod o hilak sa may baybayon. That day, she was deeply upset because she was told to catch a fish, which they would cook and eat for dinner. And she didn't want to harm any of the sea creatures. Ana nadlawa, dako ang iyang kabuol, kagiinan siya mangista, aron ilang lutuon o kanon sa panihapon. O dili gusto si Peregrina nga mapasipala sa bisan unsang binuhat sa dagat. The fish saw and felt Peregrina's heartbreak and kindness and offered herself to be eaten for dinner that same evening. Nasayod ang isda sa gibating kasakit o sa kaayo ni Peregrina Mao nga iyang gihalad ang iyang kaugaling arong kanon sa panihapon anang gabhi una. Peregrina hesitated and refused. But the fish was firm in her decision and insisted. Nagpanagana sa Peregrina ug mibalibat apan hugot ang pagbuot ug namugos ang isda. At the dinner table, Peregrina was upset and uneasy. Diha sa lamisa pagpanihapon, naguol o guwak na himutang si Peregrina. It pained her to see a friend being feasted on just like that. Nasakitan siya sa iyang higala, nagipistahan lang o gingana. After the meal, she slowly and carefully gathered the fish bones and buried them in their garden. Human sa pagpangaon, iyang gihinay o giampingan niyang pagtapok ang mga bukog sa isda o gilubong niya kini sa ilang panaman. That night, she dreamt of the sad garden, but it did not look like the one she stood on that night. Ni anang gabi una, nagdanggo siya pahin sa panaman. Apan, dili man susama ang panaman sa iyang gil. On the spot where the fish's bones were buried, grew a massive tree that had transparent shells 
with jewelry and precious gems, pretty dresses and exquisite shoes that shined and sparkled in the sunlight. Sa dapit, kung diin gilubong ang mga bukog sa ista, anaay ni tubo nga dakong kahwe nga anaay mga sihag nga mga tipaka uban sa mga alahas o bililhon nga bato maanyag nga sininat o maanindot nga mga sapatos nga nagsidlak o nagkisda sa hayag sa adlaw. The dream seemed so realistic that in the morning she rushed to the garden to check. Mura man gayod og tinuod ang damgo nga sa pagbuntag ni haganas si peregrina pag adto sa tanaman aron tanawon. True enough, there stood a great big tree bearing unique and elegant gifts or fruits. Og tinuod gyud anaay nagtindo nga dakong kahoy nga nagbitay ang way susama o eleganteng gasa o bunga. Anzat learned about what happened and quickly grabbed all the fruits she could find and get hold of. But she was not able to run far with them because she froze and turned into stone. Nahibawo si Anzat sa nahitabo Og dali nga gipanglabnot ang tanang mga bunga nga iyang makitan ug makuha apan wala siya nakadagan og layo kay nigahi siya og nahimong bato Her step sisters were horrified after seeing the fate of their mother Nalisang ang mga ikaduhang igsuon ni Peregrina sa nadangatan sa ilang inahan They immediately fell on the ground and repeatedly kissed Peregrina's skirt in remorse. Dali silang nihapa sa yuta o nihalok sa sayal ni Peregrina sa kahangawa. We are so sorry, Peregrina. We know we have not been kind to you. You do not deserve that. Please forgive us. The two sisters cried out. Pasailua kami, Peregrina. Kahibawo mi nga dili maayo ang mong pagtratar kanimo. Dili ka ang ayan ing anaog. Pasailua in taon mi. Ang duha ka man nag-iksuong nihilak. With her warm and kind heart, Peregrina forgave her sisters. Kay buutan gayod siya, gipasailo ni Peregrina ang iyang mga iksuong babae. It did not take long before Anzat was turned back into her old self after that. Wala sa madugay una na hiuli si Anzat sa iyang karaang hulagway. This time, however, she had learned her lesson to treat people with kindness. So did Bukai and Kikai. Niining panahuna. Hinuon, iya nang nakatunan, uban nilang pukay o kikay ang leksyon na ayuhon o pagtata ang mga tao. Since then, as not, pukay and kikay remain kind to Peregrina and everyone around them. And all was well in Mantato. Maunang sukad, Nagpabilin ng buutan sila Anzad, Pukay, o Kikay kang Peregrina, o sa tanang nagpalibot nila. O maayo ng tanan sa mantato. Kids, did you like the stories you just heard? What do you think of our Cinderella's and the Visayas? Why do you think were they treated badly by their new mothers or family members? In the end, what happened to the Cinderella's in our story and to the people that mistreated them? What similarities do they have with the Cinderella in the cartoons you know? Tell us what you think of the stories, kids. 
as your parent or teacher to send us a message at facebook.com slash Cebu. Also, there are questions at the end of this video that we will be posting so you can talk more about the stories with your parents or teachers. Of course, don't forget to also like and share our post. Just remember that every second Friday of the month is Storytelling Afternoons in Handorawan, Cebuana Tales for Children. Bye kids!